Today I'm going to show you how to do a double bubble map. A double bubble map is used to compare and contrast things. In previous years, you might have used a Venn diagram, but this will be much less limiting to the amount of information you can put on here. Today, let's compare and contrast two sports. Let's do soccer and basketball. So I'm going to write soccer on one side, draw a bubble, and write basketball on the other side. Now let's think of some things that are different about soccer and basketball. On soccer, you play on a field. In soccer, you dribble with your feet. In soccer, you uh, use a black and white small ball that you can't touch with your hands. So then I'm going to draw bubbles around the words that I wrote and connect them to only my soccer bubble. Now let's think about basketball. Basketball, you pass with your hands. You play on a court, and you shoot with your hands. Again, I'm going to draw my bubbles and connect them to only the word basketball. Now, once again, you could continue going and fill in with all types of information about soccer and basketball that's different. In the middle, you're going to put things that they have that are the same. They're both a sport, and I'm going to connect it to both sides. They both have players. They both have to dribble. And they both have to shoot. As you can see, the bubbles don't have to have an even number, and this is a really cool map to do a lot of color coding and adding other information in your frame of reference with. Don't forget to draw your frame on the outside. And you're done comparing and contrasting information. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.